What's going on everybody? Biker Dave here with the 1997 Pontiac Trans Am. This will apply to many different GM cars and possibly other makes and models. Uh, you know, here are your crappy battery terminals. And if you're looking to just replace that piece right there, it can be done. You don't have to replace the whole thing. Although these are among the crappiest types of battery cables and terminals in the industry, I usually swap it all out, honestly, and install an entire better clamping system. But if that's not really what you're trying to do, you just want to take this guy out. You're looking at it and you're going, well, how does it come out? You know, how does this bolt come out of here? Not that big a deal. Let me show you. Okay. All you need is a, you know, either a, a little slim flathead screwdriver you know, you want to be kind of careful doing this because this is rubber, rubbery plastic, and you don't want to tear it because you want to be able to reuse it. So, just kind of be careful doing this. You just want to pry up underneath here and just pull back on it and just work your way around it, basically. You know, you just sort of easily, carefully get it started and then it'll finally pop right out if we can get some focus going on here that's all there is to it and it's probably a good idea to take a uh, little wire brush and clean all this out you know clean both sides of the uh, little copper plate right there you know clean them both out especially on the positive side as well and it's also a good idea to search for all ground points all throughout the engine compartment search for those clean those you know tighten them down some of them are loose some of them are broken some of them are missing so do some inspection all throughout the car you know as far as uh, the engine bay and and um uh, on the engine block and that sort of thing you know just look for any kind of broken grounding cables or ground points because that could solve some strange issues you might have going on your car anyway and then we'll take the new one after i clean it you know after we clean that you just basically just re you know reverse what you did you'll put it in here and then just pry the lip on the little rubber ring right there and just you know just and make sure that you're putting it through the hole so you notice how this slides down sometimes so make sure this is in the right spot see how it is right there so you can poke it through right there and you just you know work it up and over the lip of the new bolt and that'll be it uh, it's probably a good idea to maybe put some dielectric grease in this region also you know to keep corrosion out of there because I can see already on my positive that it's pretty crappy right in there you know so I'm gonna clean all that off and you know it may get you a nice solid electrical connection that's always good for any motor vehicle anyway anyway uh, you know we're just doing some little fix-ups on this Trans Am I just put a new hood mat Underneath there, that was real easy. You know, those are just little wide plastic pins that you just pull out. And uh, you have to unhook the struts for the hood, which is done right up there. Very easy to do. That was done in a matter of minutes. Because the old mat just looked crappy and original. Anyway, yeah, this is primarily an original car. Aside from just a few little things here and there. It's got, you know, Corvette C5 wheels. It's got a uh, straight exhaust, no catalytic converter. Because it it's not required for this age of car in Georgia. And um, yeah, 5.7 liter, runs excellent. Check out our other videos. I'll put a link to the playlist about this car, you know, of any other fixes or upgrades or anything we're doing to it. Uh, but we also fiddle with all kinds of cars, dirt bikes, motorcycles, Harley Davidsons, Yamahas, uh, scooters, street bikes, you know, a little bit of everything. So just look through our channel and you'll find all kinds of stuff that you might uh, benefit from and 
And if, you know, if our videos help you out, make sure you click the thanks button under the video and uh, you can sling us a little donation. It always helps. Anyway, Google Horsepower House, we're all over the internet, eBay, Amazon, two YouTube channels, Facebook, and uh, relating mostly to motorcycle parts and tools. So you'll have a great day. We'll see you later.